let's see uh, first game okay in the first game uh, I want to talk about uh, tactics based on uh, a space advantage uh, and it's very important just to remember that if you want to play uh, tactical games uh, first you have to learn uh, how you can uh, gain a space uh, because in tactical position you have uh, or you need uh, active pieces that's why uh, you have to make uh, a space for your pieces and then uh, choose the uh, tactical line uh, so here uh, in this game uh, is the first example uh, of this subject uh, so we will see how black uh, will do that uh, just is uh, uh, Overbach bit, uh, the game a bit thin, uh, Overbach and uh, Kotov uh, Overbach with white pieces and Kotov with black pieces okay let's see d4 uh, okay we will uh, go fastly uh, in the opening because uh, we don't want to uh, talk about uh, opening of course okay e5 e4 bishop e7 and it's some kind uh, of uh, Philidor variation with c4 pawn after bishop e2, here castle, castle, okay, c6, queen c2, rook e8, rook e8, okay, uh, it's not good move, but we don't like about that, uh, first maybe e takes d4 and then rook e8 is the best, but rook e8 here, rook d1, and uh, bishop f8, rook b1, okay, rook b1, the idea is b4, b5 somehow, uh, a5, prophylactic move, of course, d5, and uh, here is very important moment, uh, in this game uh, because here uh, black has to uh, choose the uh, cho choose his uh, plan for the middle game of course uh, okay after um, uh, white uh, close the center here and after that uh, black has to play uh, on a uh, king or queen side uh, but here uh, of course after d5 uh, white has good uh, space in the uh, in the queen side I'm, i mean and uh, okay so uh, we have to uh, we, we have to play counter attack uh, somehow uh, i have to play f5 okay first i i need to uh, gain uh, a space in the uh, in the king side and then active my pieces in the king side and then uh, i can uh, i can uh, play uh, tactical moves or the tactical plan in the uh, king side of course Okay, let's see. Uh, knight c knight c5. He played bishop e3. Okay, the uh, the trade is uh, d takes c6, b takes c6, and uh, bishop takes c5. It's coming. Queen c7. H3. He played bishop d7. Rook c1. Maybe here uh, b3, a3, and then b4 uh, was so strong, but he played rook c1, g6. He played. Okay, the idea is of course is bishop g5 rook f8 and somehow knight h5 or knight, knight e8 and then f5 of course black has to play f5 and uh, gain a space in the king side of course knight d2 he played okay rook b8 knight b3 take queen take on b3 and c5 okay black first try to uh, close the uh, close everything in the center and queen side uh, and uh, queen side yes and uh, after that uh, he can play uh, preparation uh, he can uh, prepare for f5 of course uh, king h2 he played king h8 king h8 i think was uh, was not necessary uh, bishop g5 bishop g7 is very uh, better is, is much better than uh, king h8 i i, I think but uh, he played okay anyway uh, king h8 queen c2 uh, knight g8 here okay after knight g8 bishop g4 he played and uh, okay here uh, black want to play f5 of course and uh, bishop g4 is a prophylactic move of course after bishop g4 knight h6 he played and uh, now bishop takes g4 and knight takes g4 is coming bishop takes d7 uh, queen d7 and queen d2 here okay knight goes back to uh, g8 and then i can play f5 okay here g4 and uh, here uh, f5 he played but uh, also bishop g7 uh, is possible uh, and uh, after that i will prepare for f5 somehow rook f8 and then f5 but uh, of course white will play b3 the b b3 and then a3 and b4 and uh, white also uh, trying uh, trying to 
uh, gain a space in the queen side. Okay, anyway, uh, black played f5 here, uh, but first, uh, before the f5, uh, let's see the black pieces here. Okay, queen on d7 is not active, uh, of course inactive, uh, rook on e8 and b8, uh, same, and uh, nothing to do here and here. Of course, bishop on f8 is very bad, uh, bishop on uh, f8 uh, behind the uh, pawn chain, uh, of course, knight on g8, of course, is so bad and uh, nothing to do here, uh, but after f5, okay, uh, right here, uh, black, uh, uh, first black trying to uh, make a space on the king side and attacking on king somehow with active the pieces. Uh, but uh, let's see uh, how it will be uh, it will possible okay after f3 here uh, first uh, c after g f5 okay i will take take and queen f5 now okay let's see the black pieces okay queen on, on f f5 uh, is so strong uh, attacking on uh, king of course bishop on uh, f8 uh, will uh, will be good uh, very soon okay uh, again i can play bishop g bishop g7 e4 somehow and then bishop e5 okay again uh, with e4 uh, i will uh, gain uh, some more space and then uh, i will active my pieces of course and uh, rook uh, will go will go to f8 and then f7 and other rook will come to f8 and uh, uh, the rooks uh, will play on f file of course or somehow maybe rook will go to h6 and attacking on h3 pawn uh, so uh, it will be uh, very uh, nice for these rooks uh, and uh, about knight of course uh, I, I can play uh, knight e7 and knight g6 and then knight f4 somehow and uh, of course maybe somehow uh, i can play knight f6 knight h5 and knight h4 and also somehow i can play uh, uh, knight uh, h6 knight f7 and then uh, in some situation i can play knight g7 and i'm taking on h3 pawn so all uh, all of my pieces uh, will be good after f5 and the exchange here so here uh, white play f3 f3 uh, was the best move here i think okay bishop e7 trying to play bishop h4 and also rook f8 okay i want uh, doubling my rook on f file of course because uh f pawn uh i will exchange on g4 or, uh, or e4 and then f file will be open okay so i need my rooks on f file of course okay let's see and somehow bishop h4 bishop h4 also is possible rook g1 he played okay rook f8 rook f1 of course rook f7 i have to play and then rook f8 okay he played g takes f5 okay it was not uh, it was not not the best move but it was good uh, uh, rook g2 he played and here uh, f4 okay here uh, it's so uh, important moment here because uh, black uh, want to uh, want to uh, to play, trying to uh, gain a space in the king side so after f4 okay let's see uh our pieces okay after f4 he, he has to play uh bishop f2 and now uh my bishop uh, okay maybe uh, somehow uh, will go to h4 and g3 a knight will go to g5 or maybe h4 or maybe g3 maybe knight f6 knight h5 and uh, i will active this knight somehow like this or maybe knight h6 and go to G, uh, g5 right now i i have g5 score right now because after f4 uh, bishop f2 and uh, this bishop uh, is out of the game this knight is out of the game queen on d2 uh, cannot do anything rook on f1 also same and uh, okay i will i will probably look f6 rook h6 and uh, many option here for for black so here he played rook f6 rook f is, uh, is the best okay the idea here maybe somehow uh rook h6 but here uh, the only move is h4 for the white okay after uh rook h6 he has to play like this or maybe queen uh queen e1 sorry queen e1 protect on h4 and then rook g1 somehow and play like this but here uh he did mistake uh, overbach uh, did mistake knight e2 
uh, uh, was a very bad move uh, because after knight e2 is uh, completely a winning position for uh, for black so here you can pause the video and uh, guess uh, the black move uh, yes of course uh, here uh, queen takes h3 is so strong okay i active my pieces i active my pieces and uh, now i can do anything i can uh okay uh sacrifice anything i can uh attacking on king i can uh find the uh, tactical move and the here but uh, the, uh, the other move uh rook g uh, rook uh, sorry rook h6 also is possible maybe uh, i can active my rooks like this rook h7 uh, rook h6 knight g1 okay the other rook will come and after rook f8 okay maybe rook h7 rook h5 rook f6 and the other rook will go to h6 okay and pressure on h3 pawn also it was a good idea but okay after knight e2 queen takes h3 is so strong here uh, queen sacrifice okay king h3 is only move because after king g1 simply rook h6 uh, it will be winning position for uh, it will be made up i think because after uh, bishop e1 okay check and okay it will uh yeah it is winning he's winning of course uh, but here yes uh, he took on h3 okay rook h6 check bishop uh, h4 is, uh, uh, is, is is possible because rook h4 is made king g4 is the only move okay and uh, here uh, knight will go to f6 check okay king f5 and now all of my pieces in the game just uh, this one uh, out of the game so here i can play rook f8 but here um uh, kotov uh, missed the uh, winning move here and he played uh, knight d7 but knight d7 uh, was not uh, uh, was not the best move here either uh, the uh, best move was uh, knight g4 of course and after knight g4 is force mate is force mate of course after uh, for example if uh, king takes g4 okay i will simply just check and then check on f6 it will be mate uh, and also uh, bishop h4 is not work again because i will check on f8 okay if you take rook takes h4 is uh, is mate is mate and uh, after knight g4 he has to resign you know uh white can't do anything because the idea is uh first rook f8 check after king takes g4 rook g8 check and okay for example for example if queen takes a5 okay i will check check and uh again rook f6 is a mate okay it was a amazing game and uh it was uh but uh, here okay let's see knight d7 uh, what played in the game uh okay he played rook g5 uh i i, I think uh, he missed rook g5 i miss uh, i mean uh because uh, here just simply he want to play rook f8 okay after this check and then rook f6 mate but uh, after rook g5 after rook f8 uh, check now i can play uh king g4 okay let's think about uh this position okay after this one just simply rook f8 he checked and king g4 okay checked and uh, preparation uh, some move here and then uh, he uh, he find the best move here knight takes d7 is a mate because after uh, king g4 okay knight will go here but uh, here again he preparation some move and then bishop g5 bishop g5 is winning of course uh, i'm sorry knight d5 is not different it's not different knight g8 was the best move here uh and here bishop takes g5 and after bishop takes g5 he has to play king g5 and here is so strong move uh here also you can pause the video and uh, think about this position here just this is the winning move uh rook f7 okay the idea of course is rook g7 and king f5 rook f6 mate so uh the only move is bishop h4 protect on f6 of course so here it's very uh fantastic mate just play rook g6 check king h5 and now uh it's uh king on the uh net mate and uh okay and uh, it will be mate it will be made soon because rook h6 is coming so here you have to play bishop he has he, he played he played bishop g5 in the game 
take, take, and okay, knight f6. Maybe here, I'm not sure. Rook g6, okay, rook g6, knight f4 is coming. Knight f6 is the best because after knight f4, okay, it can take and uh, rook h5 is winning. Okay, after this one, uh, of course, uh, rook takes g3, queen d6, and rook g6. It will be made, rook h6. The second game uh, between uh, Vladimir Kramnik with white pieces and Van Veli uh, with black pieces. Okay, here uh, this middle game is coming for, uh, from uh, a stonewall opening, of course. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, white has uh, more space uh, in the uh, king side. So just remember that when you have uh, when you have uh, more space uh, somewhere, uh, you have to play there. I mean, if you have um, more space in uh, king side, you have to play on king side. Just you have uh, to active your pieces uh, on this side, and uh, you you can you can choose a tactical line uh, there. Okay, uh, one of the uh, very interesting option uh, in this um, position is that g4 and g5. Okay, uh, white has to try. Uh, make uh, some more space here and uh, okay uh, attacking on this king but after g4 usually uh, black uh, will try uh, this uh, diagonal uh, so uh, maybe maybe here c5 or maybe yes maybe c5 here and after c5 okay the next move is dc4 okay this uh, uh, diagonal is very dangerous uh, and uh, this bishop will open and uh, it's very dangerous position for for white so here uh, first i can uh, take on e4 if take okay and then g4 maybe now uh, i have uh, first uh, prepare uh, for g5 uh, first maybe rook f2 rook g2 or maybe king h1 rook g1 or something like this and then I can play g4. Uh, this was this was interesting, but um, the other one is f5. Okay, after f5, also uh, I have to candidate. I have to candidate uh, some move uh, that uh, help me to uh, to uh, to gain uh, more space here. So here f5 is the other one. Okay, after f5, for example, if take with rook, okay, bishop c8 is coming. Yes, bishop c8 is coming. Uh, so maybe queen takes f5, and uh, okay, maybe. Uh, now f file is open. I can active my pieces on uh, f file, of course, or maybe here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, yes. Maybe rook f4, rook f1 is the best here. Uh, but here, uh, okay. If if you if you see carefully uh, in in this position, uh, uh, this bishop is so uh, weak. So here, Kramnik played very good. Kramnik played uh, bishop takes e4. And he trying to uh, open this the diagonal. Uh, so here, uh, d5 is nothing because after d5, for example, take take and after take, okay, you cannot do anything here because bishop c3 is coming and uh, it will be, of course, it will be good position for uh, black and nothing for white. But uh, here he played very good. He played c5. Okay, c5 uh, was so strong because after d c5. Uh, I mean bc5, okay, just simply I can play a3 and uh, Van Valley played bishop a5 and now dc5. Okay, uh, I, I made some space here, but just uh, I active my pieces. I active my bishop on b2, so here uh, simply I can play king h1, rook g1, g4 and g5. It's so strong and now I can uh, uh, attack and pressure on g7 of course somehow, so here uh, if he played f6 here, for example, okay, knight will go to c4, and after bishop a6, okay, after bc5 again, a3 is coming, uh, it's not possible. So after bishop a6, okay, rook c1 is so good, and uh, nothing for black. Again, if you take, I will play b, uh, a3, and also if you play uh, bishop take c4, I can play rook take c4, okay, if you take, I will take on uh, uh, sorry first a3 i mean and then take on this one okay e4 e6 c6 everything uh, has uh, everything uh, is possible for white here uh, for example if you played f5 i can play b4 b4 is trade so here you you have to play rook d7 and then rook e4 and then rook e6 is coming yes it will be uh, it will be 
uh, winning or maybe b4 first and then rook takes e4 everything is coming so here uh, Kramnik played c5 c5 was so strong here and also after c5 this bishop is out of the game because he cannot play c5 anymore okay one valley took on c5 a3 here bishop a5 and take back dc okay uh, queen takes c5 he played and here b4 okay after queen b5 queen g3 and uh, here bishop b6 uh okay knight d7 is coming and okay queen takes g7 is coming of course he played g6 okay uh, for example if you played bishop takes e3 king h1 is coming and then queen checks g7 is winning uh of course uh, or for example he played if you play x f6 okay just i can take and then knight takes e4 or maybe knight h5 knight h5 also is winning and everything is winning here but he played g6 kramnik played knight f6 here king f8 and here bishop e5 okay uh, bishop takes c7 is a trade okay rook e7 maybe bishop d6 is coming so rook c8 is the only move and the and then okay i will i will active my other pieces here queen h4 yes okay the trade is queen takes h6 and now knight h7 check king e8 and then bishop d6 okay after bishop b6 <clears throat> bishop d8 knight f6 is coming so here rook c7 he played and then rook fd1 it was very strong after uh bishop e3 king h1 is coming okay of course the trade is queen f6 and queen h8 mate somehow and the knight f6 maybe and it's it's uh, it's losing position for example if you play like this i can play queen f6 and it will be a very good good position but okay let's back here for example if after dc5 he played like this okay if you play rook c8 here maybe first b4 maybe yes maybe first b4 here and then after bishop c um, uh, bishop c7 uh, okay here uh, some option for white is queen g3 and uh, uh, some other option and strong uh, uh, strong as uh, that i play g4 g5 and somehow king h1 rook g1 okay i will i will make more space for me uh, for uh, myself in the uh, king side maybe g4 is so strong if you play like this i will play knight g6 okay and then maybe like this and g5 uh, i think is it will be it will be very good, nice position for uh, uh, white pieces of course and if you don't play f6 for example if rook d8 maybe king h1 or maybe bishop d4 first i will close this file and uh, okay i'm not sure a5 maybe here maybe take or maybe maybe king h1 or maybe g5 g5 also is possible if you take now i will play like this it, it will be uh it will be nice position for white i'm not sure about that but it will be nice g4 g5 always work uh, uh in the position like this but just here uh the important moment in this game was the uh, was the uh, this one bishop takes f4 take and the c5 just uh kramnik uh play on queen side uh, this uh, this move is on queen side but he, he trying to uh open this diagonal and uh, try to attack on king and uh, he attacked he attacked on the king in the last and uh, he beat uh, one valley very easily uh, but uh, here c5 yes yeah c5 was very strong after take and then a3 and okay and uh, this bishop now is so strong uh, just uh, if you if you want uh, uh, if you want go to any tactical position you have uh, you have to make a space first just remember that is very important just uh, first you have to make a space and then uh, of course uh, you have uh, you have to uh, active your pieces on the on that side i mean it's usually it, it's usually it's uh, on king side i mean uh, but uh, okay uh, in uh, some situation of course it will be uh, queen side also but uh, usually it's on king side i will uh, make more space on king side and okay of course i will active my pieces and then i will attack on king okay let's go to other game okay let's see the third game third game beat uh, the game between uh, nimzoich uh, against tarash okay it's very 
uh, fantastic game and it's very uh, uh, very very good example uh, for the uh, make uh, a space um, and uh, find the tactical idea uh, okay uh, d4 d5 knight f3 c5 also uh, after c4 okay e6 and it will be go to uh, Tarash system of course uh, e3 knight f6 okay we don't uh, I don't want to uh, talk uh, I don't want to talk about uh, opening of course too much but after bishop d3 knight c6 okay castle bishop d6 just devel develop uh, pieces for both sides okay b3 here usually c d5 and then uh, d c5 and then b3 is uh, is a well okay b3 castle bishop b2 b6 okay here uh, also d c4 is the best of course d c4 b c4 c d4 and e d4 is like this okay uh, and then maybe b6 and bishop b7 rook c8 somehow uh, okay and the uh, queen will go to e7 rook d8 and uh, black uh black plans of course is uh pressure on to this one somewhere a6 b5 or maybe e5 somehow and change uh some pieces is uh, is very good for black uh, but anyway okay let's go to the game b6 here he played uh tarash played knight bd2 bishop b7 rook c1 okay queen e7 and then uh he he took on uh, nimzovic took on uh, d5 okay e d5 and knight h4 okay just names which play knight h4 the idea is knight f5 uh he, he trying uh, to make some weakness in king's side and okay g6 and uh, now uh in this uh, diagonal uh is too weak and okay uh, the darkest cover of course is uh maybe some problem for black and uh, he go back to f3 rook d8 he played take take on c5 and then bishop b5 of course white uh to want uh white want to play uh, want to uh some exchange here and okay and then uh maybe in the middle game or maybe in end game uh can uh pressure on these pawns somehow okay knight e4 uh, is a good uh, is a good move okay bishop takes c6 was not the best because he lost the pair of bishop okay after bishop takes c6 queen c2 he play okay and uh, here uh, is a so important moment in this game uh, okay uh, usually uh, if you play knight takes d2 i will play knight takes d2 and uh, here if you play uh, normal uh, for example i am not sure maybe rook here maybe bishop a3 okay i will uh, pressure on this pawn maybe queen d3 rook c2 rook c2 rook c1 and okay i will pressure on c5 somehow but here uh if uh, if you played knight f6 also maybe somehow i can uh maybe i can play rook d1 okay maybe knight f1 knight g3 i will protect my king here and then pressure on uh, this pawn or maybe uh instead of uh, rook d1 b4 also is so strong uh i will uh charge these pawns okay after c4 uh, now d4 cover is very good it's good outpost for my knight okay bishop b7 maybe knight f uh, knight uh, df uh, knight 2 f3 or maybe rook e1 and e4 somehow uh or maybe i can play on this pawn but it's not our subject so uh let's go here and uh here just uh you can pause the video and uh okay uh choose the best uh, line uh for black here of course uh we talk about that uh if you want uh, to uh find a tactical idea you have to active your pieces first uh, if you want to active your pieces you have to make some space for your pieces so uh you have to uh, gain a space here of course uh, the best move uh, is knight takes d2 uh, what tarash played here is very uh, classical game and it's very typical games uh, okay after knight d2 knight takes d2 if queen takes d2 of course i can play d4 here simply and after d4 bishop takes f3 is coming so for example if you take on d4 i can play bishop takes f3 g takes f3 maybe queen h4 uh, i think uh, it will be 
uh, winning position. Uh, queen takes h2, bishop f4, everything is coming. So here, uh, uh, white has to play queen e2 here, and after d3, uh, of course, it will be very good position for uh, black because uh, queen d3 is, poss is possible because bishop h3 is coming, and then rook takes d3 is coming. Yeah. So here you have to play uh, queen d1, and uh, here of course uh, is very good position. Maybe queen e4, maybe bishop e4, or maybe uh, somehow I can d uh, I can play d2. I can play d2. I think d2 of course is possible, uh, or many things is possible. Maybe uh, just simply bishop b8, rook d7, rook d8, and uh, this pawn uh, is a very good passed pawn, and uh, it will be. Uh, very good space for this two bishop. It's uh, uh, this pair of uh, it's very good pair of bishop, and uh, it's nothing for white, I think. So here, uh, Nimzovich play knight takes d2, and after knight takes d2, uh, here uh, is very important moment. Uh, so here uh, it's very famous uh, sacrifice, Tarash sacrifice here. Okay, first uh, I can play d uh, d4. For example, if I play rook c8, I told you before, bishop a3 is coming and uh, nothing for uh, black because uh, after bishop b5, maybe simply just rook d1, knight f1 or knight f3, and uh, then I will I will work on uh, these pawns. Uh, so here, d4 is so strong, instead of rook c8, and after d4, okay, now uh, I will uh, make some space for my pieces. This bishop uh, will be open on g2, and this bishop also will be open on h2. Uh, two very good uh, diagonal for black, and it's very dangerous position for uh, white and this king, of course. Okay, here uh, Nimzu just uh, took on d4 because d takes e3 is coming. Uh, so here, after e d4, just here, uh, please uh, pause the video and think about this position. Here uh, we have very good uh, sacrifice. It's very famous, uh, and yes, of course, uh, the best move is bishop takes h2. Okay, uh, here uh, uh, black has uh, some uh, black has some uh, candidate move. Uh, the first one is bishop takes h2. The second one bishop takes g2, queen g5, and queen h4. Just uh, uh, these four moves is so strong. Okay, e d4 uh, is, pos is impossible because queen takes c6 is coming. So here, uh, uh, four moves uh, I have uh, to think about that. Uh, so here, bishop takes h2 is so strong. Okay, it's very uh, famous uh, sacrifice. Two pawn, uh, two bishop, sorry, two bishop against two pawn. And okay, I will check on h4 first. I will join uh, my queen to king side and active my queen first and after king g1 okay bishop takes g2 is coming and after bishop takes g2 uh, queen h1 is coming uh, uh, in the game uh, nimzich play uh, f3 but if he played uh, if uh, if play king g uh, takes g2 just simply first queen g4 okay uh, i will uh, check on g4 and uh, after king h1 or king h2 is not different after rook d5 uh, it will be winning position, of course, and uh, simply winning. Yes, it's simply winning. And rook h5 is a trade. It's very famous. Uh, just sacrifice, sacrifice uh, two bishop and uh, and two pawns on g2 and h2. Okay, I will, uh, uh, I will make weak uh, this king, and then uh, I will use. Yes. Okay. Let's see what they played in the game. He played f3, okay. Of course, rook e8 is so strong here. Uh, also, the bishop takes f1, uh, I think, uh, is good, but okay, rook uh, e8 is so strong because after rook e8, the idea is rook e2. Uh, so, here I want to play rook e2, and then queen h1 is force mate, of course. Uh, he played knight e4, and uh, it was a very big mistake. Okay, rook if e1, uh, it was the uh, only move, but okay after take take and okay queen e2 and take on d4. Yes, it must be a good position for uh, a black I think because too many pawns again and rooks against uh, two pieces. So uh, this uh, 
king is so weak and uh, I think I think it's uh, it's a very good position for black because rook will coming uh, here h5 h4 is coming queen e1 d3 uh, very good pass upon here and it will be good position for black of course but here after rook e2 uh, Nimzwich played knight e4 and uh, here after knight e4 okay queen h1 is very good move okay take take and uh, rook takes f1 is impossible because queen h2 is coming for example if you take yes queen h2 and uh, uh, he loses his queen of course so here he played d5 and uh, of course uh, white gain uh, some more space and uh, open this diagonal okay somewhere knight f6 is coming queen c3 queen g7 is coming but uh, it's uh, it's uh, a losing position for uh, white of course f5 he played okay queen c3 for example if you played like this I will play uh, king f7 after take okay rook 6 e8 and rook e2 or queen g2 is coming rook e2 uh, sorry rook, uh, queen g2 is coming and it's it's mate okay if you take take check and okay it was it's mate or of course and uh it will losing position but after f5 he played queen c3 queen g7 of course is a trade but here uh black has to find a simple mate here queen g2 okay after uh king e3 here uh, two possibility okay rook takes e4 is good but f4 also is good because after f4 take uh i think queen h2 or maybe rook takes e4 rook takes e4 it will be same of course take take and here of course uh uh i don't know why he he he, he played f4 here but of course queen takes e4 is ring king d2 is possible because of this mate but here king f2 okay here here check okay and here and here it, it must be it must be winning because after king e3 okay rook e8 is coming king here is queen e2 mate and if you play here i will play check and then it will be mate it will be mate very soon uh king g5 queen g4 and queen h5 mate but uh, Tarash find another mate here. He played f4, and uh, after king f4, he played just simply rook f8. Okay, king e3, rook f3 is coming. And so here, uh, king e5, queen h2 is so strong. Okay, king e6, and of course, rook e8 is so strong. Uh, I think bishop h3 also is possible. Also, bishop h3 also possible, but here it will be made. If uh, king f6, here queen f4 is made. So the only move is king d7, and here so strong move is made in one. Bishop b5, yes. It will be made. Uh, so uh, let's uh, see the important moment uh, at this game. Okay, of course, here. Uh, is the important moment uh, just uh, I told you before when you want uh, uh, when you want uh, how to say uh, when you want uh, and to uh, find some tactical idea or tactical move you have to uh, you have to uh, get some um, active pieces for active pieces you you have uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, make a space for your pieces of course here the important moment that d4 d4 is so strong and it's very uh it's very typical idea that if after d4 okay this uh sacrifice to say uh, two bishop sacrifice is very important uh, many people fisher played uh, like this and uh, fisher also uh has some game in this uh sacrifice bishop takes h2 and bishop takes h2 kasparov uh, has some games tall i think has some games in this position but uh, it's a uh, Tarash sacrifice. The name of this uh, sacrifice is Tarash. Yes, okay. After this one, is winning proof. But the most important moment is, is D4 uh, and game. Okay, let's go to uh, other game.